Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Good Trek. Uh, just got a chance to take a, a night off here and just come out and be in the mountains here and uh, yeah, use my Russian bear tent. So yeah, I'm just going to give you kind of a quick walk through here and kind of show you what that's like. We're not fully set up, but uh, came out with a friend and his daughter. And so this this is the Up 5 tent. Uh, that's the vestibule that comes with it. We didn't do the internal liner just because it's... Um, I think it's only going to be minus two or minus five tonight but just to kind of give you perspective on size this is a one to eight person tent so that's just the tent and you can obviously um sleep more inside the vestibule if you wanted to so it's got an entrance here it's got on either side and i didn't show you on the other but it's the same this is either mosquito netting or a nice clear plastic window i think they're rated to minus 80 or something like that You've got that. There's one on the vest on the vestibule too. Um, yeah, here we'll go around and I'll show you. Yeah, it was interesting. We were out here three weeks ago. That was at the up two tent, and uh, yeah, there's about three to four feet of snow. Quite a bit of it has melted already. Yeah, and I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. Um, that's the electric chainsaw that I have, and just how we can charge that up as well. But oh, here's the other window. I'll show you real quick this guy right here it's a nice nice clear window that you can kind of see inside but here I'll open the door we just finished eating so it's a little messy but just to show you guys real quick I did set up this door it does have the mosquito netting here as well and then um, there would be an obviously this door here and there would be a third door if we had the liner we just set up the stove here using the medium one it's already really really warm in here so it kind of gives you perspective on space. There were three of us with chairs here with still lots of room. You could, say up to four adults, you could fit in here. And uh, so far I've only set up my pad here. Nothing's really set up. You can see the two windows. But you can see you could fit eight people in here tightly. Um, right over here, that's where you could have the stove if you chose to. But because it's so warm, we're just going to leave the stove in here today. Or tonight. And... Uh, I guess see how we sleep, stoke it or not stoke it. I don't know if we're going to need to or not. But yeah, just kind of give you guys a quick idea. Just to show you. Great tent. And looking forward to a night relaxing. And yeah, I love that I'm able to help a lot of you guys, but I'm looking forward to a night of not answering the phone, to be honest. Either way, I will tomorrow show you a couple things that we've been working on. Um after coffee in the morning and yeah that's about it so yeah here let's kind of do the back view you can see that is the russian bear tent right there five eight person with vestibule and and to be honest um their instructions suck well there's not really any instructions so definitely look if you get one of these look for any youtube videos on how to set them up before you go out i don't even think there's one for the vestibule so it was we guessed and yeah, just kind of, we figured it out. Um, things I want to mention real quick. I'll show you the temp pegs I'm using. I bought these off of Amazon. Way better than what's provided. Way, way better. I went with orange ones just so you can see them or hopefully see them and not trip over them. But uh, I bought a bunch of those off of Amazon. Um, way better than what's provided, especially for us where we are in Canada. Uh, well, you can tell we're in, we're in the Rockies here. So there's you don't always have um, soil beneath you. And when it's minus 30 or whatever, it's, uh, yeah, the ground's pretty hard to, uh, to pound through. So, okay, you guys enjoy your evening. We're going to have a campfire a little bit later on and just relax. And then I'll do a little more filming tomorrow just to kind of show you um, a little bit of the setup that we have here that I think a lot of people will uh, uh, find value in. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, Randy here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, we're just finishing up for the day here, and I just wanted to show you some of the electronics we used last night. And earlier today, I've got Mike relaxing. He's been relaxing pretty much the whole time. Where my daughter and or my daughter, his daughter, <laughs> have been doing all the work. Just joking. Not our daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so either way, um, I'm just going to show you some of the electronics. Uh, we didn't use all of it, but just to give you examples of some of the stuff that we would use with this type of camping and maybe you guys would find some value in it. And the big thing I want to show you is how our small 28 and a half watt panel can actually power a lot of this. So here, I'm just gonna, I got McKenna in here. I've got some of the stuff 
Okay, so what I'm going to show you, and actually McKenna's our, our, our Vanna, so she's going to show, show us some stuff if you don't mind. So the first one, uh, which is closest to her, I'm going to use an example. That's a Blue Eddy EB70 power station. I'm using it as an example because it has an 8 millimeter charging port, which a lot of people are, are familiar with. So if you just want to point to that there, McKenna. <laughs> this is the eight millimeter charging port right here. Now, the thing about our solar blankets are 28 and a half watts and all of them actually. Um, this guy specifically has a DC5521 cable right here. So, and then, uh, here, I'll get you to hold that up. So the neat thing about that, do you want to just pull out this guy right there and just plug it in? Plug it into the DC55, yeah. So you can see how you can buy these adapters and then just plug it into the machine. And there you go. Now you have the ability with a small little solar panel like this guy here, just over a pound, uh, to charge some of these smaller uh, power stations. Now, granted, it's going to take a while because it's only 28 and a half watt, but I'm just giving you an example. Another example of a um, one of these that has a eight millimeter port. Do you want to just pick up the Goal Zero one just behind there? So that's a Goal Zero uh, 100 AC unit. And if I'll just zoom in right there. You can see the eight millimeter charging port. Same thing on that. And how we use that last night, I'm just going to go, you can see the, the LED uh, light right there. We've got USB um, uh, LED lights. And these are, I love these lights. These are actually from Energy. They're 400 lumen. And then also we have these guys right here. Same thing. It's got the DC5521 charging port, which a lot of the power stations have. Very common. You can see right there where my finger is. Or, yeah, where Vanna is, is showing us. So you can charge directly from that. Uh, some of the other devices that we were using last night, we've got uh, the headlamp and the flashlight right there, as well as uh, there's a lighter right there. It's like a plasma lighter. So that actually charges from USB. So that can charge directly from the back of our solar as well. And that way you don't have to worry about your matches getting wet because you, you can always use that. Um, some of the other items, like while we were driving here through the mountains, we had our two-way radios, which are just these three back here. Actually, do you want to lift one up there for a quick second? And then, um, actually, I need the charging cradle, if you don't mind, that it's in. And then just so the back side of the charging cradle, just turn it around. So if you guys see right there, that right there is a DC5521 port. So again, same thing. I'm just going to pop this out here. Same thing. This is attached to our solar panel, our 28 and a half watt. That plugs directly into there. So that's how we can charge these without a battery pack if you choose. Okay, go ahead, set that down. A couple other items I'm going to show you. We've um, uh, just started uh, testing some of the Dakota Lithium products. So this is their 10 amp uh, power box, kind of an all-in-one solution. I believe it's waterproof as well. Neat little solution. Um, it's got right in the middle, if you want to turn that guy on, that's your power on button. And then open this guy up here. And then you have two USB charging ports. Shows you your voltage, which is awesome. And then this other one, if you want to open it up, that's uh, like a cigarette lighter plug-in. So you can plug in devices. Or you have these guys right here. So if you've got a battery clip type cable to charge it, or alligator clip. What we currently have attached right here is the alligator clip. Oh, we got the light is on. Let's turn that off. Um, and then do you want to grab the other one there? That is your battery clip cable as well too. So how that can be used is you can use either or to charge this specific uh, power bank. Or if you've got a 12 volt battery, even your vehicle battery, you can trickle charge directly from, because as you see, this also has a DC5521 port. So you can charge directly from our 28 and a half watt if you just want a small amount of power powering something. So you have that option. And then the other thing I was going to mention real quick. So currently we're, we're planning on putting together packages here, guys. I'll just back up so we can see everything. We're planning to put together packages here. I just, uh, I haven't had time to do it. So I'll just let you know. Off of Amazon, you can buy these DC5521 cables, so you can uh, charge directly. Um, uh, so do you want to just hold up the cable that's attached to the solar panel? Just let them see. So you can buy those directly from Amazon. Just, just search DC5521 cables. There's tons of them out there. Go ahead, set that down. And then if you want to pick up the battery clip cable in the back, that also is from Amazon. So we're, 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 we're going to have a kit here eventually uh, where we offer all of this. But right now, if these are things that you want, you can, you can buy those. You can also offer, you want to pick up the bag there with all the little cables? That came as a pack. It was, it was pretty inexpensive. So all of the female ends 
uh, or I guess it would be male end, are DC5521. And then the and then there's several adapters on the other side, depending on what you're trying to charge. So you can charge multiple devices with that as well. And other than that, yeah, we used our electric chainsaw last night. Um, as you can see, it is being powered right now from the Blue Eddy. So we've got the battery pack connected there. Blue Eddy's um, a bigger battery pack than the Goal Zero in the back. But we have used the Goal Zero as well, too, to do that. But yeah, I just wanted to go over that show you guys. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> just to show you guys uh, some of the stuff that we use camping. And potentially you might find value in that as well, too. Um, either just for camping or for um, just emergency preparedness as well, too. Because to be honest, a lot of the stuff we use camping is for emergency preparedness. But yeah, this is our setup from last night. We had our coffee. We had our breakfast. Oh, yeah, and we did the freeze-dried eggs again. What did you think? Did you like them? Yeah, no, that's the thing. That's, yeah, we did eggs. Um, McKenna made uh, pancakes. Mike, wherever he went, he made bacon. So yeah, it was, it was good. It was quite enjoyable. But yeah, here, I'll just do one more quick walk around so you guys can see the tent, how it's all set up. And then we're actually going to tear down and then do a drive to the, the falls there. And that'll be enjoyable. But yeah, this is the, the final setup here. Just to show you guys. I put, I don't remember if I had it at last night, but we put this stick here because it just kind of, made sense just to have the um so you're not tripping over it in and out of the door yeah but last night i don't know what the temperature was minus seven minus eight who knows um i had my minus 12 sleeping bag i, I kind of wish i would have had the warmer sleeping bag i wasn't cold cold but i was on the verge uh and we, i did keep the fire stoked we, yeah we kept it going all night but yeah no other than that enjoyable night got to see the stars through the uh through the windows, which is kind of awesome. And yeah, just really enjoyed it, but really, really happy with this Russian bear tent. Don't know if we're going to be able to get any more with what's going on in the world, but uh, yeah, huge, huge amount of space. And once you set it up once, it's, it's obvious, it's going to be a lot easier to set up uh, in the future, but it was just a bit of a learning curve for us on what goes where. Um, yeah, because like I said, their instructions, they, they definitely could be better. And I did find, they did have a pamphlet, ironically, the last bag we looked at, I found it. So uh, they did have that. It's just, um, yeah, is what it is. So either way, enjoy your day, guys. Uh, we're going to tear down and, yeah, go for a bit of a drive and go look at some falls. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you, Mike. Bye. Yeah, Mike's waving from behind. <laughs> okay. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. And any questions, I'll have my contact information, uh, phone phone number, email. And as I mentioned, um, we are super busy filling orders. My goal is always to answer the phone within 24 hours. So just be patient with that. Um, just we're super busy trying to help everybody right now. That's, uh, yeah, buying product to just in preparation for, you know, just to be on the safe side with our interesting world that we're in right now. And uh, other than that, we do have stock. I think I mentioned it beforehand. We have stock of sol our solar products, solar blankets ready to ship. And we do have stock of the solar generators in the U.S. warehouses for U.S. customers. Uh, Canadian warehouse, I believe, will have everything within, in about a week. So definitely place your orders for that before we sell out again. And that is it. So yeah, here's the view. This is what we woke up to. You got to see that awesome mountain there. Beautiful, beautiful view. Unfortunately, that side of the valley fire last year is what it is. But uh, yeah. Okay. Enjoy your day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then. Okay. Figured why not just to finish the day. We uh, been on the bucket list for a while. Just drove to, I think it's called Devil's Staircase. So a pretty popular area here. We got lots of people here. Uh, three small river crossings. This is the smallest out of the three we had to cross, but granted spring has just started and this is going to get pretty deep soon. Pretty neat. That is so cool. And it's really popular too in the wintertime. It's a popular place for ice climbers as well. Yeah, I just figured we'd do that. You can drive a bit more. There's other people camped up there. So the camp spots through here and I think you can go for a few more kilometers but either way got to get back to the city hate saying that but got to get back and do some work but figured I'd just show this to you guys really cool awesome ending to a night off 
Okay, everybody enjoy your day. I'm enjoying this.